Welcome back. A few years ago, I figured out the secret to getting fruit trees to grow and bear quickly. And it's probably simpler than you might think. Today I'm going to show you how to get your little fruit tree to grow big and be happy and bear for you quickly. Let's do it. Get up in the morning time, making biscuits. Get up in the middle of a new day, biscuits. And if I could be all you wanted all the time, all the time. This is a coconut palm. It's a few years old. But it's not quite old enough to bear coconuts yet. And I want coconuts. I want this thing to grow. So I'm going to use a trick on it. It's not really a trick. It's not a real, real trick. But I'll probably put the word trick in the title of this video just for clickbait. Nope. It's really simple to get a tree to grow faster. What I have here it's a mix of animal manures, mostly goat. You can also use 10-10-10 if you don't have access to manure, and blood meal, bone meal, whatever else. But this is like a ton of fertility here that I just dumped on the ground. Now this tree has something to feed on, but this is not the whole of it. You're like, so what? You want it to grow big, you gotta fertilize it? No, you've got to do something else as well. Now 10 gallons of water is barely a drop in the bucket, so to speak. It's certainly not enough to cover the earth. Um, and it's not enough to do very much for the tree, but it's at least a taste. Right now is the dry season. And now wherever you live, there are certainly dry cycles and wet cycles, unless you live in the tropical rainforest, which is like cloud forest type. We're not quite there. We're close, but not quite there. So what you want to do is, you know, I mean, I know, you're thinking food and water. That's how you get a tree to grow fast. Okay, thanks, that was so profound. Clickbait, thumbs down, unsubscribe. No, that's not just it. You need to feed it and water it regularly. Like, like all the time, have access to good stuff. Because anytime it starts to dry up, uh, anytime it doesn't have enough food, it starts to go into conservation mode. So your little tree is just kind of doing this and like, oh, I don't think I can grow right now. I just gotta wait until the opportunity is right. What you want is to maximize the opportunity for growth days. So if you have two or three dry months during the year, and that's during when it's warm, and you're not watering that tree all the time and getting it water, it's just gonna stop because it's not getting the movement uh, of its roots. It's not getting, it's, it's like, it's in starvation mode. It's just waiting until the weather is right. And then when the rain starts, it might do all of its growth for the year over two to three months. What you want to do is double the amount the tree can grow in a year by making sure that in the down times, in the dry times, it's getting lots of food and it's getting lots of water consistently. So let's say you are going to plant a new fruit tree. This is just demonstration purposes here. Let's say you're going to plant a new fruit tree. So you've got your little loose area. You stick your little tree in the ground there and you fill in around it. Now when you do that, make a little basin, right? Around your tree. Now, you want your basin to be at about ground level, right? You don't want it to be a pit that you're planting in. Have it at ground level, but make a little berm. Build a little wall right around the edge of it, provided you can get funding. And so you've got your little edge around it. So there's your berm, and that's where your tree is planted. Now, you plant it in, just pour water into it, and just keep going until that fills up. 
go and 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 hopefully you've got a little pond going around the tree and it just keeps soaking in so you just want to fill that up like a lake and let it go down and fill it up like a lake and let it go down again and fill it up like a lake and let it go down again and what you're going to end up with is a very very well watered root zone all around the tree the whole area anywhere that the roots want to push into is full of water it's soft the roots can go cutting their way through the ground and work their way in consistency is the name of the game you want to be consistent I've probably shared before about my grandmother who used to start avocado seedlings over and over again. She would start avocado seed seedlings, uh, you know, the little toothpicks and the glass, of, glass jar sort of thing, put it down in some water and it would grow roots and it would start to sprout. Then she would put them out in her yard. And when she put them out in her yard, they would invariably die. They would grow really well as long as they were in that water. They went out in the backyard, she would forget about them, and after a few months of forgetting about them, they would die. So she planted them over and over again. She never got a single avocado tree. As soon as they were out of sight, out of mind, and this is what a lot of us do, out of sight, out of mind, we planted it, we take care of it a little bit, and then we get busy and we forget or we don't get around to it. And then it either struggles along for a few years and then eventually it starts to find its way or it dies. So when you are doing a tree, if you want it fast, you cannot forget about it. You have to remember it's there. Now there's a few ways you can kind of um, do it very easily so you're, you're not going to forget it. Like if you take a hose, a long hose, and you run your hose out and you've got your little basin around your tree, and hopefully you've given it some manure, some fertilizer, some compost, whatever good feed you can give it, you get your hose going and you just put it on a drip. Just let it drip down into that basin, down, down somewhere in the root zone. Now trees are amazing. You don't have to water all the roots on a tree. If some set of roots find water, the tree will be happy, it'll get enough water. All those roots are capable of bringing the water up. So you just put it, put your hose and just put it on a little drip and just let it run. Let it just slowly trickle into the ground. And um, like Psalm 1 says, like a, uh, like a tree planted by the river bearing fruit in its season, its leaf will not wither. I mean, it's like if you've got a tree that has a constant water source somewhere, but it's not flooded, it's going to do incredibly and it's going to produce way, way faster. Food and water all the time. Anytime there's a little bit of uh, dry weather, just make sure you go out there and just drip the hose on it. Let, let the hose drip on it every other day. It'll be incredible how fast that thing will grow. Here's an illustration of how this works. Quite a while ago, years ago, I and somebody else I know bought peach trees at the same time, same type of peach tree, same plant show. We both bought six foot tall peach trees to plant in our yards. Our yards were about five miles apart, something like that. I planted one in my front yard. I gave it a little water. I got it in the ground and she planted hers in her yard. She got some water on it, she, you know, she got it in the ground. We both got ours in the ground quickly. Within a year, hers was three times the size of mine. And we were in similar soils and everything. So I said, what in the world? How, how is yours making peaches already and mine is still a little weeny stick? And she said, well, I gave it some manure, gave it some cow manure, and I put the hose on it. Every other day, she had the hose trickling at the base of the tree, and she did the little basin trick, and she had the hose trickling constantly. That thing had a caliper this big around. A year after it was planted, it went from this big around to like that big around. I could not believe it. I mean, it was stunning. I'm like, I think I'm pretty good as a gardener, but I did not realize how much that consistent moisture and feeding made a huge difference in how fast fruit trees go. So. If you treat it like a little baby, you know, the baby's got to get up and nurse at night and nurse during the day, and you've got to feed that baby, feed that baby, feed that baby, take care of that baby, have your, have your heart and your mind on that baby all the time and take care of a baby, the baby grows very fast. I mean, a baby goes from this big to walking around in a little over a year. And, you know, so you've, you've got to think of your fruit tree as a little baby that needs to be cared for. And the more you care for it and love it and feed it and water it, the faster it will grow. So if somebody's telling you, oh man, you know, it's gonna take such and such amount of time to grow, it takes eight, 10 years for it to produce 
fruit from seed, don't necessarily believe them. That may be what the case is, is if you just planted it and you took a little bit of care of it. But if I take a, once I get a long enough hose, if I run a hose out here and I just trickle it on the base of this thing, or if I'm consistently, just every time I come over here dumping buckets of water on it, it is gonna grow way faster than it would if we just left it alone to get the rain. So there's your trick. Put water on it all the time. Never let the root zones dry out all the way. Obviously don't flood it and get it swampy, but make sure that you've got water, a little bit of water coming to it all the time so it never is feeling stressed at all. It's always happy and make sure you get it fed with whatever you can feed it. And then that thing is going to grow like crazy and you will have very, very quick harvests compared to just about everybody else. Thanks for watching. Be sure to catch me online at thesurvivalgardener.com. Like and subscribe and share my videos and all that stuff. And check out my free composting guide in the link below this video. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Do you throw banana peels in the trash? Are your coffee grounds also being thrown in the trash? Do you compost ham? <laughs> Are you sick and tired of all the rules about composting? Do you wish you could compost in a super easy way? And stop throwing things in a landfill? And stop being a terrible person? Click on the link below and sign up and get my new composting booklet, which shows you how to compost easily and simply with hardly any, any work at all. It's insane how easy it is because it follows natural principles. Sign up now. Quantities are not limited.